video i'll be talking about clock page replacement algorithm also known as second chance algorithm so before actually filling out the table let me talk a bit about the concept behind this uh, algorithm so what happens is we follow the basic first in first down procedure to fill the table but what happens is uh, whenever we are uh, we have to replace a page from a frame we just give it a second chance before actually replacing it and on what basis that chance is given uh, i'll discuss that later in the video suppose this is the page request string from the cpu and we have three frames available so as we do in any uh, other page replacement algorithm we'll start filling out the table and as i said so in this algorithm we follow the basic first in first out principle so just like first in first out we'll fill in two in frame one so we just brought a uh, page two to frame one but what we do here is we just assign a reference bit to every frame and since we know that of only two values and zero and one in computer science so we assign the value zero to the ref uh, reference bit of frame one same thing happens whenever we bring a page to a frame we just assign the reference bit the value zero so we have to bring in three so we assign the value of reference bit to zero and uh, the value of reference bit of two was already zero so next time when we have to bring in two what we do is we just increment the value of reference bit so that happens to be one and this is still zero and this was a hit condition so basically whenever we have a hit condition we just increment the value of reference bit of the page that led to that hit condition okay so next thing we have to bring in one to the table and we still have one frame left so what we do is bring in one to the empty frame and as already said the value of reference bit is zero because it just came in okay now we have to bring in five but there is no frame left for it so we definitely have to replace one of the frames so since our uh, frames were full as i said we have to follow the basic first in first out principle easy peasy right so according to first in first out two came in first but as i said we have to give it in this algorithm we just have to give it another chance and we give it on the basis of reference bit so what we say is if the value of reference bit is greater than zero we are said to reduce it to zero and we move to the next uh, frame so according to first in first out three was the second frame and in this algorithm what happens is we replace the first frame with reference bit whose value is zero so we turn so we bring in five in place of three and since it just came in the reference bit for this is zero and for one is zero as well now once again two came in it's a hit condition value incremented to one five to zero and one is already zero okay so here's an important part and this is really important one okay so what happens is two is no longer the first one to come in so basically as you can see two came in first but two is just used in so what we do is one is now the first one to come in, uh is considered as the first one to come in after that five and then two because two just came in this is important part that you have to take care of that it is uh whenever something uh hits its arrival time is changed to the point where you are looking at so 
basically its arrival time is this so this is the last one now first is one then five then two okay when we come to four once again all our frames are filled out so we have to go by first and first out and this time as I said you have to go from one because that is the one that was least recently used so this is some word like LRU so one and the bet for one was zero so you switch it with four and here's the interesting part so what happens is here we face the page fault and this is important part as well so whenever we have a page fault we have to turn the bet for every uh, frame that we have to zero so either it goes by the way that happened here it was t turned to zero by following the first and first out principle or just in case we didn't reach it still it would be changed to zero at the end of replacement if there was a page uh, if there was a page fault so whenever a page fault happens we have to make sure that all the bits are turned to zero as we can see here we had one five, uh, three and z one oh sorry one zero and zero and they were turned to all zero because there was a page fault and we brought in five we didn't change it here because we had two so we could increment it to one and we didn't change it to zero but since we had a page fault here again we had to turn it zero for every other one okay now we go to five zero one and zero so next time so four just came in five is one so what we do is so uh, five is the first according to first and first out so we just turn its bit to zero and move to the next one now two two has the reference bit zero right now so two will be the one that will be replaced with three and four remains there so this was all for the uh, 